Students from the Boston Public Schools have a chance to learn about writing and critical thinking from a program called Teens in Print. They write the material for a citywide newspaper that comes out five times a year. The program was developed by Write Boston in partnership with the Boston Globe. To talk about their work are the program director for Teens in Print, Carla Gualdron, and a student at Boston Latin who was Write Boston Summer Journalism Institute, Sophia Meadows. Uh, thank you both very much for being with us. Oh, thank you. I, I want to start with, with Sophia. Um, why did you even get involved in this? What, what, what made you do it? Because I loved writing, but I didn't want people to know. I'm not good at saying it in public, so I thought if I can write it, and I knew it was going to be sent to all Boston public schools, so I thought that's my little secret. I could write and show people without actually having to tell them. Carla, uh, you, you run the Teens in Print program, and I guess you were in this program. Yes, I was. Back when I was in high school, I was part of the program for three years as a writer, a staff writer, and then by my senior year as senior editor of the paper. And it's really nice to come sort of full circle and come back and be the director of this program again. Uh, uh, coming back uh, to Sophia, what, what did you learn in this program that you didn't know already? Um, I learned how to be a journalist, actually, how to write questions that are engaging. And I learned how to write in a short, a little amount, because I'm used to writing like Bibles or big things for essays at school. But it was good to learn I can make like 200 words and actually have something that's very meaningful and understanding. Now, what's interesting is you, you uh, not only wrote things, but you worked on an interview uh, that was in a video, and of course there's more than an interview going on here. Yeah. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your project. So basically what I wanted to do was my friend Clark D, he goes to Boston Latin Academy actually, he's a senior. And I just asked him, because I liked his music, I heard it on SoundCloud actually. I said, oh, can I interview you for my job? Like, I really want to do something cool, something different. And I want you to freestyle, tell me about yourself, so you can show kids all around Boston that this is capable, this is something that everyone can do if they just set their mind to it. And we're gonna bring up a little excerpt of that. Why did I start composing music? How, why? Why, how? Yeah. Um, so first and foremost, I've always loved music my entire life. And I thought that if I love music so much, um, why can't I just make my own? You know, we like grew up around hip hop, um, and rap, you know, whether it was just listening to beats or just, or just vibing out, whatever, it doesn't matter. And so I was like, you know, I could do this myself. I live and breathe music, so I could be walking randomly and in my head, just I get a hook idea and then I start singing it out loud. Like it starts with a melody and then the melodies get translated into words. Listen, music costs a lot of money and it's best if you just do it all yourself, especially if you're a cheap guy like me. Carla, you know, I guess one of the main questions about your program is how it's different from what students normally get in, in the classroom. I guess the video answers that, that, that they're really allowed to focus on things that really engage them. Absolutely. What makes Teens of Print different from a newspaper that you might find in a high school is that all of the content is original content and these are stories, ideas that they come up with. There is no barriers. I, don't, I never turn down a story idea. Whatever is important to them, they're passionate about, whatever they want to write about, it's really up to them and I'm just there to guide them and help them through the journalism process. It really is something that's made for teens by teens. How did this uh, help you with your career because you became a professional oh, journalist? Absolutely. So. My involvement with Teens in Print really, really made me realize that I wanted to become a reporter. So uh, something that was very big when I was applying to colleges, I sent all my writing samples from Teens in Print in with my college applications. And to this day, I'm convinced that's what set me apart from the other applicants and really got me into the schools that I wanted to. And because of my experience with Teens in Print, I landed an internship through the Boston Herald. And then later on, I worked there as a reporter. So it worked out for me. Sophia, what about you? Do, do you want to be a reporter? or Because you do so many other things <laughs> that involve writing. Yeah. You, know, you, you, you have your pick. You know. Yeah, well, actually, I have two things that I kind of want to do. I can see myself being a journalist, you know. I like the idea of exposing things for what they really are, hearing both sides of the story. But at the same time, like, I'm an athlete. I'm a soccer player. And I love physical therapy. I love sports medicine. I love making people who are down and hurt get better again and play something that they love. So. Um, talk about what it's like uh, uh, when you're interviewing someone and, and you have to uh, look at that material later and decide what to use. What was that like for you? It wasn't that 
hard. Well, I kind of just pick the most important, the most meaningful thing because when I interview people, there's a lot of smiling, there's a lot of conversation. That's, I feel like everything has to be natural because that's how you get the best product. So we're just talking to them, getting to know them. I picked the most meaningful things and it was easy to make the story. Carl, if you were trying to uh, uh, urge students to, to at least look into this, uh, what would you tell? Because sometimes you know, journalism is not <laughs> the most financially rewarding field. So you know, if they're not sure about journalism, what, what about other possible benefits of being involved in a program like well, this? Well, absolutely. The nice thing is that writing is an essential skill that you're going to need no matter what field you go into, whether you become a banker, a doctor, a lawyer. Good writing skills and good communication skills is something that you can apply to any field. Plus, especially for kids that are joining this program, it's very hands-on. You get to feel like a real reporter out there covering stories, covering events, interviewing people. So it gives you some real life experience of what to expect in case you are wondering if you want to maybe major in journalism later on. Uh, w one more thing, uh, Sophia, uh, just be able, being able to talk to people about writing uh, and knowing that they're going to be interested in what you have to say, how important was that? Very important because you want, I, I know I'm small, like I'm not like everybody else, you know, we all look different, but respect is really important to me. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I can just have a conversation and people are interested and people actually care not like pretend care like oh yeah like that was good they're actually like wow that's so cool i'm gonna look into it how do i find this i want to sign up can i get my daughter's son cousin involved and it's like yeah come down with me or yeah meet me here we can go down there on tuesdays or it's kind of like a family i'm still friends with most of the kids still today that i've known for two years now they're freshmen in college and i still talk to them like every day so, uh, Carly, Sophia has given a wonderful pitch. So if people want to get involved in this, so what should they do? Absolutely. They should visit our website, www.bostontip.com. Our website got completely redesigned, so please check it out. Information on how to submit articles or how to join the program is all right there. Thank you both very much, Sophia Meadows and Carla Gualdon from Teens in Print. We'll have more news in just a moment.